Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft, the quest for all biomes. <laughs> Yay, I did it right this time. Last time I started uh, one of these exploration episodes, I accidentally said the quest for all flats and didn't notice it until editing. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah guys, so today we're going to carry on with the map. And when I say carry on, unfortunately, uh, when I logged off last time, I somehow lost my map. I've misplaced it or placed it somewhere and I can't quite remember where. And also, you might be noticing something. <clears throat> As I look down right now, you can see that my, my hands look, look a bit different. <laughs> and that is because if I do this, hello, <laughs> I've changed my skin, guys. Um, actually, what happened is I asked a friend of mine to make a skin for me for my camera account, Cerulean Skies. And she ended up making two skins for me, and this was one of them. And I really, really liked this one. Uh, I went with uh, uh, another one for Cerulean Skies, but uh, this one I really, really liked. And I didn't want it to go to waste, so I'm using it for now for a thice. <laughs> so I hope you guys like it. If you don't, let me know. If you do, let me know. I'd like to, to get your guys' opinions on that as we uh, cause the landslide. <laughs> so yeah, I'd like to get your guys' opinion on that. What do you think uh, of me using this skin going forward? I quite like it. It's a nice change from wearing the mask and glasses to being open-eyed like this, and it's a nice suit still. So yeah, let, let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, let's let's carry on doing some exploring. So as always, let us put this in our offhand and run. And of course, I forget to put my wings back on. So let me uh, put all my armor back on. Um, I don't want the chest plate on right now. There we go. And then I can take a running jump and fly. So let's do this. Ugh. For some reason, I am having trouble launching lately. I don't know if it's just me or... Because this is a single player world, so it's not a server issue. Because <laughs> this isn't a server. There we go. Alrighty, so I can fly again. And I think I forgot to turn the sounds on, as, as usual. There we go. Alrighty. And still no sounds, which means I need to do this. Ugh. <laughs> always, always something that I have to do. There we go. Now, are, are there being sounds? No, there are not being sounds. Why are there not being sounds? Oh, there are. There we go. <laughs> oh, maybe because I launched the elytra before the sounds were reset? Huh. That is an interesting little, little quirk. I actually want to explore that for, for a second, instead of exploring terrain. Um, so let's see if I can come in for a bit of a landing. I am going pretty fast, so I need to slow down a bit. There we go. Now, I need to launch off again. So, maybe landing in a flat field wasn't the best of ideas to do that. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's just come up and around here. Can I launch off here? There we go. Yep, and now they're like trial making sound. Okay, that's, that's interesting. So the sound gets initiated once when you launch. There we go. Definitely hearing the, the wind rushing now. Good, good. <laughs> and uh, I've got Optifine uh, going again. For a little bit there, I didn't. Um, because of the, uh, the change to uh, the Minecraft versions. But I've updated to the latest version of Optifine now, so... We are seeing the world as it should be. <laughs> um, all nice and clear and rendering in pretty fast, which is pretty important for what we do here on the exploration, because if it doesn't render in fast, we're in a bit of trouble. Because <laughs> we can like crash into the side of a mountain or something. At least this gives me a bit of forewarning as to what's ahead before I crash into something. So yeah, uh, let's see now. What can I? What should be the subject of today's discussion? Because generally, while we explore, for those of you that are new here or haven't been watching for a while, on the exploration episodes, what we do is we uh, have a bit of a chit chat on various topics. And if you guys have any topics that uh, you want me to talk about during this little flight time, or you want to uh, discuss, leave leave some questions down in the comments for me, and I'll answer them in the next episode. And that gives me stuff to talk about. Otherwise, I just tend to prattle on a bit about whatever enters my head at the moment. And speaking about whatever enters my head at the moment, I um, have been seeing a lot lately. Um, a lot of people have been recommending me a show, uh, anime, called... Uh, now, if I can remember what it is called. 
Well, basically, <laughs> it's it's supposed to be about uh, oh, My Hero Academia. Yeah, that, that that is what it is called. So, if any of you guys have have watched that show or have any opinions on it, can you let me know? I, I, I don't know. Um, I've got a lot on my plates at the moment, so watching a new show like right now is a bit hectic. But I could do it if if you guys think it's a good one or have watched it. Let me know. <laughs> so yeah. Um, what else? What else? I've been doing a lot of um, drawing recently, getting my comic up to speed. I'm almost done with the second issue of my comic, which is super exciting. For those of you that don't know, I've actually published a comic, and the first issue is already available on Amazon. But uh, I'm almost finished with the second one now. I've got about three or four more pages to do the line art for, and then I need to do the uh, coloring of it. Well, I call it coloring, but it's more toning because I, I use uh, grayscale for the inside of the comics. Still need to come up with a cover though. For some reason, the cover for this comic is eluding me. <laughs> I'm really struggling to come up with like an idea for a comic. Oh, there's a village down here. Uh, not really worth stopping. <laughs> Ooh, and I'm drifting to the side, which means some of the map is not getting explored over here, which is a bit of a problem. Okay. So yeah. As I was saying, how many fireworks do I have? I'm being quite uh, liberal with them, and they do cost resources. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, so I'm busy with the comic at the moment. I have also, uh, as of this recording, recorded the third chapter of my book, but I have just recently finished writing the twelfth uh, chapter. So I am quite ahead in the writing than I am in the audio recordings of it. So that's going well as well. All my little side projects that I, I enjoy doing so much. Um, so yeah, so that second comic should be coming out pretty soon. Um, depending on how fast I can get the toning done. Because sometimes it, it's easy to do the toning. And other times, like, it takes me a day for one page. Because it takes so long. Just I, I, I'm not a perfectionist in many areas of life. But when it comes to, like, my drawing and stuff like that, I tend to be a bit perfectionistic. So... I'll redo the same little patch of toning like five or six times trying to get it just how I want it to be for that particular page. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit weird, but uh, that's how I am. <laughs> so yeah, um, schools are back now for, for uh, you people in America, whether you be teachers or students, I know both. So uh, um, I hope you guys are enjoying that. And I know school, typically for students especially, isn't something... A lot of people enjoy, but there are some people out there, I've recently learned, that do enjoy school. Strange concept, that is. <laughs> but uh, I hope that whatever you're doing in school, that it's going well, and uh, that you are taking care of yourselves and making sure that you learn what you need to learn, <laughs> doing your assignments and whatnot, and uh, teaching your students well for the teachers out there. Um, beautiful. I love, love, love. Um, how the sunrises and sunsets look. It is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. I haven't really seen, like, real sunsets and sunrises a lot because I live in the middle of a very dense city. So, like, you wake up in the morning and the closest you can get to, like, a beautiful sunrise is if you, like, drive out during the night and then go someplace where a whole bunch of buildings aren't blocking it. But, yeah. In the city that I live in, especially in the place, part of the city that I live in, there's just like tall buildings on nearly every horizon, or hills on every horizon, because it's a very hilly city that I live in, so like it blocks the initial sunrise, so you don't get like that sun floating over the horizon sort of effect. I guess if I lived closer to the beach, I could get that over the ocean, and that could look pretty cool, but I've never really lived like right next to the beach. I live decently close, like um, could probably take a 20 minute walk to the beach or something, but... Yeah, N not extremely close so that I can see the sunrise over it or something, which would be pretty cool. Because <laughs> uh, from the few that I have seen, they, they are incredibly beautiful. And they say each one is unique, so so that is something indeed. When my aunt used to actually live next to the beach, and she often used to tell me that she would wake up, especially in the morning, just to see the sunrise over the ocean because she enjoyed seeing it so much. But she has moved country now, so... That is no longer a possibility. <laughs> I wonder if she still does it in a new country. I actually should ask her. And also stars. Um, I don't know how many of you are from the country or 
uh, or, fr or from like living when I say country I mean like the countryside like the fields and whatnot or the farmlands but um, generally in the city you don't get to see a lot of stars like there are one or two pinpricks of light and that's it um, but when you go like further out into the countryside the stars the heavenlies look so beautiful like really like can take your breath away at times and I think I will stop here for now because I want to see what is inside here just quickly uh, nothing of a special interest to me and I didn't jump and that was the last of those let's just take these quickly yeah so the stars look am you would not believe how many stars there are actually in the sky it is crazy <laughs> oh thunder <laughs> because um, you when you look in the city you see the one or two stars you know eh, stars whatever but when you look into the the night sky in the country and you look out in the stars and you you just like get this all for God in your mind because you think he created all of this and it's so beautiful it's it's like it really touches your spirit just to look out at at the creation and and see the beauty of it and oh it is it is really really something so for any of you living in cities that have never had the chance to see like um the stars in the night sky in in all their glory i would highly highly recommend you 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 do that at least make a plan <laughs> somehow to do that because it is so so worthwhile it really is something i would recommend that everybody get a chance to see it is gorgeous <laughs> so yeah and this map is almost complete and this uh, thunder cracking actually reminds me it was the first day of spring two days ago here so uh, we have officially transitioned into spring now we've going out of winter i suppose for most of you that are in the northern hemisphere it would uh, you would be going into autumn so you'd be going into winter. We've just come out of winter and are going into summer. So it's, it's quite nice. Um, I, I actually am much more a fan of winter than I am of summer because the country that I live in is quite warm and there is a lot of humidity in the city that I live in. So like the temperatures get very, very hot and humid. Like you can barely breathe some days. It gets so hot here. <laughs> it is not fun. So I'm, I'm much more a fan of winter because the winters here are very mild like i've never seen snow in my life so <laughs> that that's how mild our winters are um it gets nice and cool sometimes like quite chilly like well for me chilly is like eight or nine degrees <laughs> that, that, that for me is like a very cold night but for some of you out there you're laughing at me because that, that, that's like your ordinary daytime temperature or something but yeah um and when i use degrees i use centigrade so now that this map is fully complete a very interesting map with the way the land has laid out there um almost in like almost looks like a bird to me i don't know <laughs> but that's what i see in it um like a bird spreading its wings and rising up with its tail flowing behind it and i'm on its tail right now to give you an idea of where it's headed so, i don't know that's what i see I've, I've often found like looking at maps and stuff you can make out shapes like you know how if you look at clouds during the day and they're floating in the sky you can like see see things in the clouds well I, I tend to do that with maps of land and it's quite fun to uh, imagine all the various things that you can see on the land there <laughs> yeah <laughs> hobbies um let's just uh do that well i wouldn't exactly call it a hobby i guess it's more just like a fun pastime so we are back here now let us head up to the map room maybe i actually left the map in the map room that would be quite a thing. Don't think I did, because I don't remember doing so, but... Oh, landed a bit too high there. And no, because I do not believe that is the map I need. Yep, this is the one. Hup. Okay. So that line's up there, apparently. Or does it? Hmm. Can't quite see, but it looks about right, yeah. Okay, so that's how that, that map goes. Or did I just... Huh. Okay, guys, I've done something I don't often do, but I've gone into spectator mode here just so we can get a, a closer look at the map. What was throwing me off here was how this transitions almost along the map borderline. Over there. You see how the, the biomes transition over there? But, in fact, that is the correct map, <laughs> which I'm glad, because I would have hated to be a 
doing the wrong map the entire time. There's the uh, thing we uncovered over there, uh, the what you call ocean monument, and uh, here is where we currently are, uh, where the green dots are there. Uh, down there, that is where our jungle city is, and over there is where the the desert city is. So yeah, we are getting quite a bit of area covered in our maps over here. And if we go here into advancements, uh, where now these are all messed up because of the transitioning. But where is the biomes one? There we go. We've got 25 out of 36, so we are making progress. <laughs> So yeah guys, uh, just in spectator mode, not, not a thing we often see, but I thought it would be nice just to get a closer look at the map, and especially because I was a bit worried about we might have been doing the wrong map this whole time, but no, it's just got a very straight line there for some reason, <laughs> not something you, you ever really see in nature, but I guess the way the world loads in causes that, ha, huh. we are learning more and more about the world, like here's a very large piece of land and then it starts getting to the, the island sort of thing there, along that same straight line sort of thing. Interesting indeed. Okay, so now um, I'll end off here. Yeah. So, yeah, um, let me quickly go back into game mode one or game mode zero. Sorry, <laughs> um, I'm not too sure usually which uh, game mode is which. So, uh, just a second, let me come down to the ground. Alrighty, so we're back into survival mode now. And uh, yeah, so from me, Athice, I wish you all a very good night and God bless. And I see that zombie coming up to me. Bye for now. <laughs>